Hi, I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director for Design World, and we're here at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, one of the most amazing roller coaster parks on the planet. I'm joined today by Monty Jasper, who is the Corporate Vice President of Safety and Engineering for Cedar Fair. Welcome, Monty. Thank you. We're here at, in front of the, the Gatekeeper, which is uh, one of your newer roller coasters, debuted last year. Uh, tell us a little bit about, it's a wing coaster. Tell us uh, what engineering problems were uh, inherent with that design. Well, um, you know, it's, it's really um, uh, an intriguing coaster because the seats are out on wings away from the track. So you're not sitting directly over the, the track. And it, it gives you a different experience as you ride the ride that way. Coasters have always had different experiences from front to back, but the, the wing coaster design makes the right front different than the left, and the whole thing just progresses through a series of different experiences for the riders. From an engineering standpoint, you know, it's a heavier train, sure. but the track could be beefed up for that station in the lift, and it's not that difficult to come up with a design like that. From a standpoint of a roller coaster, though, it uses a standard lift chain. We wanted to keep it as reliable and simple as we possibly could so that we could play the experience and not necessarily come up with uh, something that was uh, more prone to breakdown. Sure, it's interesting too because it does use the roller chain as you said, which is kind of a tried and true roller coaster design, but also this one uses a, uh, a variable speed DC motor, right? So tell us a little bit about how, how that is different from a maintenance perspective and from a design perspective. Well, you know, the, the lift designs have been a, a metamorphosis over time. It used to be years ago that lifts were AC motors and, yeah. and uh, they were, you know, those chains were powered by one speed. You either had, you had your off or on with an AC motor full speed. So when you start in the morning, you turn the thing on and it would run one speed all day long. And you, you're used to hearing that on some of the older coasters. But we've retrofitted a lot of rides now, and Gatekeeper came with this feature to begin with, where you have a DC drive with a variable frequency drive on it, okay. where you can dial in the speed exactly the way you need it so you have a smooth engagement on the lift. And then we also put in uh, computer controls on it so that when the train is not there, essentially the chain will slow down mm -hmm. to a crawl and then speed up when the train is approaching to, to proper speed to give you that smooth engagement and take it up the lift as quickly as possible. We do that on purpose so that we can save wear and tear on the chain sure. to cut down on the noise, and it's also energy efficient. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great feature, and, and, and it makes, makes the area quieter and just a, just a general adds to the park ambiance. So. Very nice. And then lastly, you've got uh, some upgrades, I guess you'd call it too, with the on the braking end of things with Gatekeeper. Um, you use, I believe, magnetic braking on there, but that's another technology that's sort of evolved in roller coasters as well? Uh, magnetic brakes is becoming the uh, mainstay for a lot of coasters these days. You see more and more roller coasters going that way, but you know, for many, many generations, the tried and true way was friction brakes. Yeah. And they could be pneumatically or electrically applied. They stopped the train through friction and you had heat sure. that way. Well, the magnetic brakes basically uh, bring the train to a halt or, or to a crawl, really, sure. and then allow the train to move in where you can control it on drive tires. The neat thing about magnets is that there's no wear and tear on them. There's no contact between the magnet and the train surface itself. So it works day in and day out for years until the magnets degrade and you have to replace them. So it's a, it's a much more maintenance friendly uh, and it, and <laughs> You know, it's really just magical to see a train come to a halt with yeah. uh, with no contact between it and the uh, and the brakes themselves. Well, fascinating. So it's it's the best of the old and best of the new in one coaster. That's correct. Thank you, Monty. For more of our videos, please visit designworldonline.com. Thanks for watching.